Hello everybody, Brad here with a short video uh, talking about uh, this thing that I made for my red wagon. You can probably tell it's a rain slash wind slash snow cover uh, that I made. And the reason why I made it was because it is uh, November here in Michigan and it's getting cold. And I was looking for a way to continue using the bike to drop my five-year-old son off at kindergarten. And the the school is only a half a mile away, and it is faster the, faster for me to ride the bike and drop him off than it is for me to warm up my old truck, drop him off, and play musical cars with the other parents. I can take him right to the front door of, you know, of his classroom, drop him off, and be back at my house in 10 minutes less time. So <clears throat> I really was looking for a way to continue using it over the winter time on days when it's like 20 degrees and above. Um, but we already had one of those days and I did it without the cover on and my son was definitely starting to get cold and making comments from the back seat here and I don't want to deal with that. So I looked online, I, I couldn't really, I didn't really find anything that no one's really done something like this. So this is what I came up with. I, um, I found this cover from Keens. It's their all weather cover. They make really fancy uh, uh, wagons and it was 60 bucks and i think it looks pretty sweet too but um you know it's got zippers here zipper on both sides i uh, i unzipped them here for the window for uh, for the video here but um you know i flips it up you know i put my kid in there you kind of have to go a little sideways with them plops him down his feet kind of you know dangle a little bit here and, and there but um you know the the, the biggest thing is just keeping out the wind and we've made a couple trips already on it and there are no comments coming from the back seat right now and that is that is great but um the the covers it it works out it works out quite well with the dimensions <clears throat> and you know i i just i i had to make this 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 pvc in here but you have to have the caboose that comes with the red um with the rad wagon to make this at least what I made, but um, and I'll show you what it looks like without the uh, the cover on here in a second. But um, you know the, the the cover like this actually goes on the front of the wagon, but I just kind of looped it around the seat here so it's more secure. And then it's got you know Velcro here on the front, you know, Velcro here in the back, so it kind of works out perfectly with these little these little holes right here. Velcro so it's secure. You know more zippers, and then <clears throat> Velcro over here, but. Um, you know, it all kind of just, it all kind of just, just works. And, um, it's, uh, it's hilarious also. So, um, you know, this is, this is kind of what I came up with. I, I wish maybe I would have bought some gray PVC pipe. I, I didn't do that and I really don't want to go out and get more, but, um, you know, when I'm, when I'm riding along, it gets a little, a little flappy here on the sides, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going far. So for the half a mile that I have him in there, he doesn't really, he doesn't really complain. And that's what's most important. But, um, you know, if this, uh, you know, helps anybody, uh, you know, be able to continue using their ride wagon in the, the winter time, you know, and this is what I did. So I'll, uh, I'll pause the video here and I'll take the cover off and show you what it looks like. Um, with the design and what I did, so, all right. Okay, so this is what it looks like uh, without the cover on. Um, basically, uh, you know, it's pretty straight. Yeah, otherwise, not bad for kind of just freehanding all of it. But, um, so, this is it. I, uh, I bought uh, 20 feet of half-inch PVC pipes, so about two 10-foot pieces so the half inch I bought four of these corner pieces one two three four and then I bought four of these T um, couplings if you will and then I bought four longer screws so you get the regular screws that go into here because what this screw does is it connects to the bar that goes across this is, this comes with the caboose but it's a smaller screw and with these couplings though um, to get this to go through I took my drill and I have a uh, an attachment 
and I was able to shave out the inside of the the coupling so this could go all the way through to right here and it kind of pinches it doesn't really go all the way through it kind of pinches and I just really tightened the screw down but I did that with all four and um, you know this is just a little cover there because my son likes to lean against it but uh, you have to I, I shaved out the inside of all of these couplings so this could could go through but um, you know I kind of just took a uh, a, a measurement uh, where my where my uh, kids head was and you know it was about there and I kind of just built everything accordingly um, with the um, with the cover so I don't really think it's all that fancy but um, you know it works it's clean and you know I, I was even thinking about maybe adding a skirt or something like that something that would hang down with these couplings and build something more but um, we're just gonna roll with this for now I mean it's pretty pretty simple design I mean I like I said about $15 in parts and, um, and like I said need 20 feet of PVC pipe four of these half inch you know couplings like one two three four and then four of these T's and then you got to buy four new four longer screws these are all two inch not the uh, one inch that came with the bike but um, like I said, between the cover, 60 bucks, and $15 in PVC parts. So like about $75 to do all of this. So that's it. So I hope this works. Hope this helps you out. Thanks. Bye.